Hi, this is Arv from Science Wiz. And this is Ava. So today we'll be doing a fun experiment. So we need seven cups and food colorings. We use three food colorings and you also need some paper towels. So first pour water into alternate cups. Here you see three colors. Yellow, blue, and red. Add red food coloring to the ends. Okay, so now I'm adding the yellow. Now it's yellow color! Yeah, see? It's yellow! So now we have three colors. Red, yellow, and blue. So now fold the paper towel into a V and put one in the glass with water and one with in the glass without water like this. And then keep on doing it like this. This again. And then fun. Then there's. Yeah, so then we do it like this. And then it's all ready. So then wait for two hours and see what happens. It's going to be very cool. We're here after two hours. We only kept. We kept. Four glasses full with water and three glasses empty. But now all of the glasses are full with water. Yes. Yeah, it's so cool. And we did have different types of colors. We only put red, yellow, and blue. I put rainbow colors here. This is red. This is orange. This is yellow. This is green, this is blue, this is indigo, and this is red. Mm. We used only three colors, but now we have six uh -huh. colors. So do you know what happened? Well, when you mix two color colors together, you get a third color. That's the answer. So when you mix red and yellow, it creates orange. When you mix yellow and blue, it creates green. And when you mix blue and red, it creates indigo. Uh, do you know why mm, water got into the remaining three glasses? If you don't, let's talk about it. This is due to a phenomenon called capillary reaction. So capillary action is when a liquid or water moves through a material against the force of gravity. So now let's talk about the importance of capil of capillary reaction and why it's important. So first, our body is made out of trillions and trillions of cells. And cells need nutrition and vitamins. So nutrition and vitamins travel to cell to cell because of the phenomenon in capillary action. If, the, if there wasn't a such thing as capillary action, then all the nutrition and vitamins would stay at one place and some of our cells wouldn't get the nutrition and vitamins they needed. And if our body didn't have enough vitamins or nutrition, it would dehydrate. Mm. So this is a very fun experiment to try at home. Mm -hmm. So if you want to learn more about capillary action, I will link in the description and you can read through it. And 
And if you want to learn more very cool experiments, please click the subscribe button and bye friends.